Hey there, welcome to another Willy video. Yeah, probably in 10 years, more than a half of uh, new vehicle um, production is electric in the United States. Um, and China's probably going to be ahead of that because China's been super pro EV. Um, I don't think a lot of people know this, but like, I mean, China's environmental policies are way ahead of the US. Like their mandate for renewable energy far exceeds the US. I think this, sometimes people are under the impression that China is. Uh, either dragging their feet or, or somehow behind the U.S. in terms of um, sustainable energy promotion, but they're they're by far the most aggressive on Earth. It's crazy. I mean, like, in fact, the uh, a coalition of Chinese car manufacturers just wrote the Chinese government to beg for them to slow down the mandate because it's like too much. They they need to make eight percent electric vehicles. I think like next year or in two years or something. They're stuck. They can't physically do it. Um, so China's by far the most aggressive on um, electric vehicles and solar. The thing to appreciate about China is just that there's a lot of really smart, really hardworking uh, people there, and they're going to do a lot of great things. Um, this is sort of, you know, independent of, of, of Chinese government policy. They're just going to do a lot of interesting things. Uh, the thing that will be that will feel pretty strange is that the Chinese economy is going to be probably at least twice as big as the U.S. economy, maybe three times, um, but at least twice. Um, yeah, so that, and that assumes a, a GDP per capita still less than the U.S. Since they have about four or five times the population. Uh, then it would only require getting to a GDP per capita of half the United States for their economy to be twice the size of ours. So, so yeah, with, with, with respect to China, China's economy is, is going to be two to three times the size of the U.S. economy, at least, at least double. Um, so therefore, in order for the U.S. to be competitive on a military level, the innovation has to overcome a gigantic gap in economic output. Okay. So in the absence of radical innovation, the U.S. will be militarily uh, second. Okay. Basic, basic now. Like my video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up.